Is everybody ready? Cool. All right. Uh, on June 27th at approximately 5.48 in the morning, uh, the Ironicoi Police Department responded to 500 Pine Grove, at Pine Grove Avenue for the report of a hysterical person saying there was blood everywhere. Upon arrival, officers and fire personnel entered the location and found the victim, John de Ponceau, date of birth 1219 of 1943, lying just inside the front door. He was obviously deceased and appeared to have suffered a gunshot wound to his upper torso. The victim's girlfriend was the one who called 911. She was unhurt and was able to give a description of what happened and who the suspect was. Surveillance cameras at the house were able to confirm her story. The suspect, Andrew Vahey, date of birth 12 1999 lived at 522 Pine, at Pine Grove Avenue. Officers quickly set up a perimeter around the location and attempted to contact individuals inside. At approximately 7.20 a.m., we were able to contact an individual inside the location. He turned out to be the suspect's roommate and agreed to come out. The roommate was spoken to and said he was the only person inside. He also said he just received some texts from his roommate that said he had just killed his grandfather and was now going to kill himself. The investigation led us to discover he was in Livingston County. With all this information, our officers, including our canine team, cleared 522 Pine Grove Valley safely and held the location for our investigation. Our investigators were able to identify the car the suspect was driving, as well as the license plate. A bolo was put out throughout the region. The New York State Park Police located the suspect's car in Letchworth State Park. A large perimeter was established around the area by Livingston County Sheriff's deputies, Wyoming County Sheriff deputies, New York State Park Police, New York State Police. The New York State uh, Park Police, assisted by Livingston County, Wyoming County, and the Perry Police Department started evacuating campers from the campgrounds at Letcher State Park, since it was unknown specifically where the suspect was. The New York State Police Aviation Unit was used to search the area from the air. Eventually, a search was started on foot by the New York State Police SORT team. They also used their canine resources. Shortly after the search started, the suspect was observed. The suspect was armed with what appeared to be a long gun. SORT team members attempted to contact the suspect, but he immediately used the gun to take his own life. Emergency medical care was given by SORT team members but it proved to be unsuccessful. Based on evidence at the scene, witness accounts, electronic evidence, and consultation with the Monroe County District Attorney's Office, we are confident to consider this case closed. Uh, we would like to thank the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Monroe County District Attorney's Office, Livingston County Sheriff's Office, Wyoming County Sheriff's Office, the New York State Park Police, the New York State Police, and the Perry Police Department for all their valuable assistance throughout this incident and investigation. And if I could add one more thing, um, I just want everybody to know that this was something that um, we lost an individual, even though we had a homicide, but we, people in that family uh, at the same time lost a grandfather and also lost a grandson. So um, to add to the tragedy of what normally doesn't happen in Irondequoit, um realizing that there's a family that's extremely hurting today. So um, with that, I will be able to take any questions. Um, it seems like uh, him and his uh, grandfather were having just an argument uh, within the last couple weeks over property, over the house. And what seemed trivial, never, you know, we never thought that something like this would escalate to this situation. Have neighbors complained about this area before? No, we uh, we went there one time last week for uh, family trouble. Again, they were arguing over um, parking on the grass, but that was it. We never had any issues before. So what led to finding him where he was specifically? Was that technology? Was it the bolo? Or 
Um, everything included. Uh, obviously, we had uh, um, some text messages, you know, from people uh, where um, our officers were able to get in uh, into the text conversation and actually try and convince him uh, to turn himself in. Uh, he indicated that he was down in Letchworth State Park and he was going to kill himself. And that's when the uh, uh, near State Park police obviously located the vehicle and went from there. Thank you. I have no idea. There's no no ties to the area whatsoever. Uh, we secured the area. That's when uh, New York State Park Police and with the help of all the other agencies were able to start uh, clearing out campsites. Um, they didn't know his exact whereabouts whatsoever, um, but we did have his vehicle and that was going to be uh, the point of our starting our search. Um, Letchworth is a big area. Was he in a wood? Was he deep in the woods? Was he on the roadway, a pathway? No. Let the park police talk about yeah. it. So he, he was on a trail. Um, yes, it's a wooded area. It, it's also adjacent to uh, the campgrounds. So there was, you know, some, some great concern, you know, thinking that he was in that area and having the campgrounds open. So, you know, we took all the measures we could. We started with a shelter in place. Um, Livingston County 911 put out a hyper reach to the area. Um, so, and with the assistance of the sheriff's office from both counties, because the lie is kind of on the county line, um, we were able to start with a shelter in place and then we made the decision to evacuate the campgrounds as a whole and ultimately uh, close the entire park. So it was, you know, it, it was it was tough. It's it's a it's a large park. You got 17 miles of roadway, four different entrances. Um, at no time was was were any statements made by the suspect uh, to harm the, the public or or law enforcement. But again, out of an abundance of caution, you know, we wanted to get all the public people out of the park mm -hmm. so we could uh, you know begin going and, and looking for them. Um, it was on trail 18. Yep. So you guys are trained to probably handle situations like this, or you well, go through training and. Yeah, we're, we're we're trained like every other police officer, you know, to, to deal with you know active shooters situations. Um, this one, once we located you know where we thought he was, we turned that over. We took the next step and turned that over to the state police SORT team. Yep. Yeah, our SORT team is like a, a SWAT team. They they receive specialized training for these type of instances. Uh, they're they're trained to go through the woods and try to find individuals, which is what they did in this case. Uh, we received the information from around the P, the Bolo, uh, a little bit after 9 a.m. We had resources in uh, Letcher State Park around 9:30 a.m and we made contact with the subject at approximately 12.30 p.m. Yeah, like the chief of Arundacoit said, uh, it's always a tragedy when someone dies and uh, no one ever wants to see this happen. Uh, when we were looking for the subject, we were hoping to, to find him and bring him in. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and it's... Uh um, no, like I said, uh, the deceased individual was shot just inside the front door, um, but again, we had their they had surveillance cameras on the house, which kind of told us the whole picture. Um, so it's, uh, like I said, this stuff doesn't happen <laughs> in our town. Mm -hmm. And you look at it and it's just like, could be one of, you know, your neighbor's houses or anything else. And so for the neighbors in that area and for the families in that area, trying to actually go back to being normal, um, I, I know you know, we see this, you know, happening more and more often in some places, but, um, you know, trying to keep ourselves from <clears throat> becoming hardened to it and, and looking at it nonchalantly, realizing that, like you said, I mean, the tragedy that that family is going to have to pick up the pieces and put back together, I mean, that's that's the stuff that nobody talks about. So, um, you know, we'll have victims assistance and every, uh, all of our resources there. Uh, anywhere between the district attorney's office through the county through all of our resources um, just offering what we can to everybody that's you know
that needs it. Anything else? Yeah, uh, in fact, I'll uh, be sending out the uh, uh, press briefing uh, to the newsrooms right after this so you can get all the proper uh, spellings. Okay? Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.